morning to you. I hope you are having a wonderful day. near Borobudur, about 15 minutes drive away on the bike, is a place called, or nicknamed, the Chicken Church, which is we, where I am taking you next. What is the Chicken Church, you ask? Well, let me walk up the hill. It's about 300 meters uphill from where we parked the bike. And let me show you the Chicken Church, look at the view, and tell you the story. How much is the ticket? 30,000. Jeeps, 7,000 each way, and then you just climb in the back there. There's another one here. So, if you want to cheat a little bit, you can, uh, or if you're elderly or infirm, or smoke too much and can't breathe, you can get a trip up in those. 7,000, I'll just be a couple of minutes up the hill. It only took me what, three minutes to walk it. We head to the church. The lady here selling drinks. Thank you. And uh, in juices, waters, fresh coconuts. Hmm, that does sound yummy to me. Ruma Doa Bukit Rema, locally nicknamed the Chicken Church, is a humble house of prayer that welcomes all religions from any nation everywhere to pray in unity in the chicken. Actually, it's not a chicken. It was built, designed as a pigeon to symbolize love and peace. It's just unfortunately the crown on the head gave it that unfortunate nickname but it was the idea of a local guy an Indonesian guy who one night had a strong vision and in this vision he saw this beautiful valley this lovely lush landscape and a location where he felt that all religions and nations of any kind should be able to come together and pray in unity now about a year later he was traveling through this area and he came around the corner, this was in the 80s, and he saw this location and he recognized it from his vision and he chose this place to build this church on top of this hill. Now inside there is various rooms where there's private prayer rooms, group prayer rooms, but the idea is anybody from everywhere can come in here and pray. And as a bonus, there's also amazing views of the countryside around here. Um, Bora Bador is just over there. Mount Merepi is behind there. Another volcano over there. And beautiful, beautiful landscape all around. So if you're in Bora Bador area, it's a 15 minute from Bora Bador. You pay, I think, 3,000 for parking, 30,000 as a foreigner or 20,000 as an Indonesian to come up here have a wander around you can go all the way up into the crown and get views over the countryside make a prayer inside there's also a wish wall or prayer wall and there's pens and papers provided you, whatever you wish for or desire you write down on the bit of paper put it on the prayer board and see if it comes true
Well, after coming unsuccessfully a few days ago, trying to get in here, um, it was closed. It looks like it could be open. So let's go and get coffee. Clinic Coffee is not really a coffee shop. It is more a clinic for coffee. You go in one at a time, you have different Javanese coffees explained to you, then they filter it, pour it, and you enjoy it. So it's um, it's not a, like it's not a fast food or a fast coffee place. It's a for people who've got a refined taste of coffee, which I don't. I do enjoy coffee, but refined taste is not what I would say. So what you do is when you come in, it, uh, you go into the little counter on the left, you take a number, and you sit in the seating area with your shoes off and wait till the number's called. Then you're called in. Everybody's per greeted personally and then explained about the different coffees on offer. You choose which coffee you want and there is no additives. Just coffee, no sugar, no milk, no creamer, just pure coffee. So let's go and see what it's like. Okay, Peter, if you are ever traveling in Java, pop in here and get some real locally roasted coffee for your morning fix. I was going to buy a packet and send it to you, but I've no idea where the address is, so maybe next time. Okay, coffeeed up, back on those Java roads. <laughs>